Hey, welcome back to the 85 South Show. Hey! I don't even know if that's how I want to say that on this one. I might just say one to the two, the three to four. <laughs> yeah. Them dirty red dogs that yeah. kicked the dough and they got everybody on their hands and knees. And they ain't going to stop until they, they find them kings. Uh -huh. Man, we ain't here today with my nigga Big Gil. Oh, gee! Hey. Hey. How y'all doing? And oh, it's, so, it's so fitting right now, Gil, because, man, you straight up out the good and mom, and y'all been talking about the Matrix. For years, it's, yes, the revolution will not be televised, and we looking right at it, right, right on TV. We're right. looking at it, and we living it. Man, did you ever think you would see some of the shit that you, like, let me run through some shit that happened this week. Okay. First of all, NASCAR banned the Confederate flag. Yeah, right. And they got a Black Lives Matter. Now, that's the most preposterous shit I never would have thought of no. that would have came out of the protest. NASCAR? Mm -hmm. NASCAR. Niggas ain't even driving no NASCAR. Oh, they got one. <laughs> they got a few. Ooh. They got one. Hold up. What's his name? Somebody give me a name. What's his he name? He ain't winning shit. No. What's his name? No, he probably high hell. Like, that nigga his didn't name Bubba what? Bubba Wallace. Bubba Wallace. Yes. He going fast in no 250 miles. This one thing I know about NASCAR. Really? Everybody named Bubba. Pretty damn good. They're pretty good. Pretty one damn good. One thing about Bubba, he's pretty darn good if you're in that car. <laughs> and one goddamn thing Bubba can do, and let's drive a goddamn car. He make that son of a bitch shit and get it. <laughs> well, ain't nobody got no fresh trans down to you in the city. Man. Talk to him. Hey. Tell him again. I'm talking about man. Tell him God again. Damn, man. Ain't nobody got no white with the red fire on the hood. Call fanatic. Where Come you on, get man. it at, man? Talk your shit. I've been wanting that smoke in the bandit. I can't find Ooh, one. You, you know found what? it, though. I was I was up late night digging and I found it and I had to purchase it and he's talking about I had to purchase it. I had, had to, to make purchase. the purchase and I had to bring it back to where it's supposed to be. Well, now. I'm gonna tell you, I, I only I've only seen one and they wanted a hundred thousand dollars for it, so you must have got a great deal. I got a spectacular deal. If, if you are shit, I gotta put mine on the market <laughs> if they going, they getting like that. Yeah, yeah, let me put shit. Shit. on that motherfucker. Look. Hey, that motherfucker don't need no tires. It's sitting on some nice Forgiatos. And if there's oh, anybody no. at Forgiato who watches this show, <laughs> woo! Send me some! Uh, some Val Stills or something, cause nigga. Somebody just buy my ass though, man. Fuck that. Hey, man, we still gotta get that van sold, bro. It's been a wild week. Drew Brees had to apologize. Yeah. He better. I know there's not much that I can say that would make things any better right now, but I just want you to see in my eyes how sorry I am the comments that I made yesterday. I know that it hurt many people, especially friends, teammates, former teammates, loved ones, people that I care and, and respect deeply. That was never my intention. I wish I would have laid out what was on my heart in regards to the George Floyd murder, Ahmaud Arbery, the years and years of social injustice, police brutality, and the need for so much reform and change in regards to legislation and so many other things to bring equality to our black communities. I am sorry. Yeah, he, I think he was, he was gonna have to because he down in New Orleans. I don't think it was gonna be a good year. Ain't nothing about niggas. Nigga, as soon as yeah. he would've came out of that motherfucking hole, he would've ran back in. Yeah, yeah. That nigga would be like, not today, put the sex stream in. Them niggas out there crazy. Them niggas on the floor like, who that? Bring that bitch ass on, Drew. Yeah. We're gonna pop you, you hear me? You hear me? But after all this time, what he, what he jump out there and say this shit now for? Um, but you yeah. gotta understand, bro, instinctively, mm -hmm. it's natural. Mm -hmm. That's why I wouldn't. That's I ain't had no reaction. Was, he didn't do nothing but get caught being a white man. It, it was just natural. He was like, how you feel about the rumor? Like, I tell you one goddamn thing I feel about That's it. Right. Like, Drew, you tripping. He was like, shit. <laughs> nigga, I apologize eight times. Look, man. I knew it was bad when Mia X dissed him. Mia X, she did. Damn it, I fucked up. She dissed him. <laughs> Drew fucked up that time. I was on there like, fuck you, Drew. <laughs> he was on there like, Fuck you, Drew. He was like, I fucked up. <laughs> that nigga apologized seven times. My nigga apologized seven times. I know he was bro. sorry because he sent a tweet to his boy. He was like, Trump, we gotta look into this shit, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they that, put it. They made it bad for him. Yeah. Man, everything. The world falling apart. Like, it ain't because everybody keep thinking we 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 near the national anthem. They always say about the people fighting. Let the me war. see that light. Up. We fought in the war. Ain't nobody fought disrespecting the, the flag. We yeah. talking about injustice. We were talking we, about the police. That's the all start. it is. Motherfucker keep trying to result in the war, then y'all trying to over oversee what, what's really going on. So, all right, we know how you feel then. Yeah. We hear your apology, but we know how you feel. Did that. And I don't need to play with you no more on Madden. 
<laughs> Damn, yeah, you took it that far. I used to walk nigga ass with Drew. Hey, I'm a Falcon nigga. I'm going with. I'm like, I gotta go get Drew. Drew, Drew go crazy. You feel? Like Drew really go crazy. But now I'm like, what? Fuck Drew. Yeah. I fuck with you, but you know, shit. I ain't finna get your stats up. <laughs> a lot of motherfuckers been getting getting caught saying the wrong shit around this time. Who? Uh, uh, call him out. Who? Who else? I Who mean, said some fuck shit? Come on, Gil. They Gil. <laughs> <laughs> you know, those people getting caught speaking out of turn. You know? yeah. I think that's the best way to put I it. I think that's what it is. It's, well, it's, it's, it's soon as they hear something. They're they, repeating it and they not researching they, what the they fuck. They repeating it, but instead of them having empathy. That's right. You feel what I'm saying? Right. They come, they really showing like they true color. They just like, if you were to ask somebody about, you know what I'm saying? You be like, all right, before you just shut a nigga down, you know what I mean? Like, man, fuck that nigga, I don't mean it. Be like, nah, shot really cool, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He really can you, you give him the benefit of the doubt, then you give your opinion. That's right. You got to show that you understand first before you be like, block, and then nigga be like, well, you really don't understand then. You don't understand at all. You see what I'm saying? You don't understand at all. What else going on, Carlo? Hey, man, I know you heard about the voting machine uh, fiasco. Well, yeah, the voting machine. Well, in my neighborhood, man, mama said she went in there and took a flat eight minutes, man. No. It took me two hours. What happened? I ain't even vote. Oh, uh, well, you know, I ain't vote even. My mama vote for me. No, I, I tried to get that. They said it closed. I said, y'all. Yeah, I had to go in there. It was, it was, uh, I love, I love it, you know, but it, 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 it I think the world can see the, the world can see right now that they playing games with the bow machine. Man. Right. I mean, like, man, I mean, that's one thing that technology is doing machine. right now is exposing everybody for who they is. Right. I think that's Talk the, your shit, Gil. you know that's the greatest thing about te- technology right now. But at the same time, too, I just think that it's 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 something that's taught to these kids when they're young. Like I saw a video. And white man went to a lady though. She said, he, he said, man, could you take that shit off your car, man? She said, what you talking about? She walked outside and looked. She said, ain't nothing but a Black Lives Matter sign. He said, yeah, I'm a Jew. And that's offensive. And I was like, damn. To the Jew? I thought, I thought y'all got them, got put in the goddamn gas chamber too. I, I thought y'all be on our team. But it lets you know also that some people, they teach racism in a way of, uh, you're better than everything else because of the color of your skin. Mm-hmm. Now that you got other white people out here saying black lives matter, it's angering other white people because it's like, shh, you fucking up what we teaching in our house. Right, they teach a they teach man, they, so, they teach a so, man rule over one man, that's what they teach. So outside in the world, we cool with everybody, but inside our house, we teaching our kid that we the best and everything else under us. Of course. But now when, you, when the child can look on TV and see another white person holding a sign saying <coughs> Black Lives Matter, it makes the parents look like, well, damn, what y'all on? Right, right. You know what I mean? And then, shit then. and then these kids right now, you got to look, racism can't be like it was 20, 30 years ago, simply because these kids that came up in a, in, in, in a very technology world, so they, fr- they the way white kids learn how to dance, they look at black kids on the internet. Right. The way white kids learn how to dress, they look at black kids on the internet. So most black, white kids that I know of, they really love LeBron James. They, they, they love Kobe. You know what I mean? So that's the difference, I think, between their generation and these kids now is that these kids have really came up in a culture where black, where black culture is really the dominant. Cause when I was a kid, hell, it was rock and roll on the radio and on TV. Mm-hmm. But most of these kids that grew up, it's been rap the whole time. The whole time. Like so, you so you saying like the new generation of the of the of the of the, of the white kids, like you say, they had to be taught so they don't really understand mm-hmm. what they were saying. So now that they see another perception of what we are, they like so what? Oh look, cause I was taught that y'all are beneath us. If that's not true, that's right. then damn. I can't have hate in my heart because I was taught to hate y'all. And most of these kids didn't grew up being cool with everything. Like my little girl walk in the room, she gonna have a little gay boyfriend, a little gay girlfriend, and everything. It's just gonna be like a smoking board. And they all cool. And they all cool with each other and don't have no problem with each other. That's the new generation of we fuck with each other. Y'all don't fuck with each other. Right. right. So right. that's the disconnect between the younger generation and the older generation. And me personally, being that I was, I was married to an artist like Joy, I've always been involved with both communities, mm-hmm. just because of her music. Right, right, right. And that's how we raise Keep Sire. Like nobody's different. 
you know, whatever people do in the bedroom, that's their business. You know what I mean? But a person being a good person and being a good person in your life and somebody that you should learn from, man, that don't, that ain't got nothing to do with sexuality. Talk to your talk. That's it. You know what I mean? Like, the strongest people to me are going to be people from, from, from different places because they're going to understand the struggle and they're going to understand being discriminated against. Exactly. So I feel like right now, black people, man, every, everything that ain't need to be your friend. Mm. That's it. You know what I mean? Because it's, gonna, it's just, it's just going to put more power on our side and more people on our side that's going to fight for our side. Mm -hmm. Ain't no use of being, you know, against nobody at this point because really this ain't got nothing to do with where the world is going. See, when you have a person like Bill Gates right here talking about he about to put everybody needs to be microchip, but we don't, my family don't, that ought to tell you something. He want to control the world. But what does a man that got that, that that comes from the tech world got anything to do with the medical world? That should scare you off top. Right. So you gotta understand where we are in time right now. People are trying to figure out how they're gonna run the world, right. and at the same Control time, man. and at the same time, <clears throat> take the world from the old guard. That's why the, I feel like right now the whole thing with this virus and everything. Yes, it's out here. My daughter called me, and like, I think about November, I was in L.A., and she was like, Dad, I'm sick, I'm at the hospital, I don't know what's wrong with me. And then I'm like, damn. And then after it was over with, she called me, she said, Dad, I think I had that covert. I think that's what it was, because they didn't know how to treat me, they ain't, had, they ain't had nothing for me. Now, her being young, I think she was able to fight it off. But it's been out here. We were late almost six, eight months. So right now, us walking around with masks on and shit, let me tell you something, man. I, all I do is mess with doctors. And they tell me like this, man, if something airborne, ain't no piece of paper, ain't no cloth, ain't nothing over your face gonna stop that from infecting you. Right. So look at this. Since the pandemic, now I'm seeing 1995. Get your goddamn your Suave mask. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they got masks all of a sudden. They got, they and, got. And, and hand sanitizer when we, we couldn't find it. So when you look at it, you say, in the pandemic, only 10 people made money, and all of them were friends of Bill Gates. Of course. So there it is again, man. This ain't, nothing but, this ain't got nothing to do with money. Exactly. Can I put you up on the <clears throat> shit that I just got, that I just figured out? Mm -hmm. All right. You, you know there was a, a Black Wall Street before OKC, Tulsa. She figured it out. She brought the shit crazy. I'm going to see the link. Uh, Wilmington, mm -hmm. North Carolina. Wilmington, North Carolina. Now, doing, I want to say, and we had <clears throat> black officials, mm -hmm. like, and niggas want, if you want to know, we wasn't Democrats either. We were Republicans. We was Republicans. Mm -hmm. Now, Democrats were the, 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 the rich white people mm -hmm. who made money off the, 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 the working people. Mm -hmm. Now, you had the other part of the white people who wasn't Democrats or Republican, they was called the diffusion party. Mm. Now, the, the diffusion party would team up with the Republicans because they was working people. We come from working, that's all we know. Mm -hmm. The work build from the ground up, Crash. we ain't never had shit. So we build from the ground up. So the white people who ain't never had shit, who was workers, who was just like us, who understood what work is meant, they be like, shit, y'all plan is only to, y'all plan, how y'all plan, of course it's for y'all, but the way y'all plan the structure is, you build it for working people and you want to fuck. So, We'll build with y'all and we like shit, we need allies. Hey, yeah, come fuck with us. Now the diffusion party would team up with the Republicans. Now you got the working white middle class. That's what the middle class was. It wasn't a class. Mm -hmm. It was the diffusion party. Mm -hmm. Working white middle class teaming up with black Republicans. Now we got a working city, Wilmington, North Carolina. Now, they won. Going crazy. Now, this is what the Democrats did. These niggas so crazy. <clears throat> 1898, it was in the Democrat handbook. They want, they, they got it, since we won, they see shit going on, they hated to see white people working with black people. They couldn't stand it. So in the Democrat handbook, they wrote, white is for white only, and white is supposed to rule the country. So they came up with a plan to bring the diffusion party over to the Democrats and show them damn near really how to hate the Republicans. You dig what I'm saying? And, and flip the script, and by the press, they started beefs mm. with 
Republicans blah, 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 mm-hmm. and putting all that propaganda shit out there. Mm-hmm. It started all that, and before you know it, it was hate, and before you know it, the Democrat got back in, and we had nothing. Yep. Sounds like a typical story of the white man. (laughs) (laughs) All that Democrat Democrat shit had me thinking like, man, I ain't fucking with that Democrat shit. Speaking of which, man, there has been protests in all 50 states and 18 countries. That's beautiful. I think that was beautiful because I'm going to tell you what really shocked me was Denver. Denver? Denver came out too? Denver. I think Minnesota shocked the shit out of everybody. Minnesota, Minnesota jumped that shit off immediately. I just think it's just we in a place now that everybody need everybody. And there's a lot of white people that don't got money. It's a lot of them, bro. And get who, get who they are. <laughs> Direct me. All right. The, the fucking KK. Y'all nigga broke, nigga, bitch. Broke ass. They keep using y'all dumb ass nigga. They, y'all ain't woke up yet. They done taught y'all hate and using y'all. They ain't even fucking with Why y'all got EBT? Uh, y'all some broke boys. Why? All right, then. Hey, I hate to be this motherfucker, but I have to be. You know, somebody got to mediate and ask the question to keep the conversation going. Come on. Like, now, seeing how the impact that all of this has had, has, has had were the riots and looting necessary? No. I mean, but you can, but you cannot at, not expect it because of the situation we've been in for what the last three months. Right. Everybody fucked up, man. It, and most people that I know that was in California didn't get no stimulus check or nothing. That was, I feel that's what I'm saying. I feel like that shit was gonna happen whether it was a protest or not. You can't not. You can't just keep dangling money in front of the poor people. Speaking, speaking, coming from a, I'm a, I'm a, a militant mind. It was, it was, yeah. I think that's why I agree. Because I think the shit was necessary as a was, motherfucker. Because without that shit, it was necessary. nothing would have happened. But when it comes to shit like that, you got to be a tactician. Yeah, you do. And I feel like this: keep that shit out of Atlanta. That that too, but you when, can't. You can't. When, like, it, when, when, it, when it comes to shit like that, it got to be strategic. When they say, "Okay, if you're gonna do that, it has to be necessary and it has to be a plan." You got to know who you're looting. That's right. Where you're riding. Does it make sense? Are you are you affecting their dollar because you know for a fact this way they at? Right. Don't be in the community. All of a sudden, who say protest down here? They're leading y'all where y'all know y'all gonna ride it. You feel me? You should. We gotta have a, a organization where it's like, no, nope, niggas don't even know where we gonna loot at. Cause we didn't know when y'all was coming to loot. Yeah. Niggas was coming See, to just my, drive that's my cri- shit and nigga winning. Like, that's, my <laughs> that's my that's criticism. That's my criticism. No, no, that's how we had to do. You see what right. I'm saying? Yeah. Ain't no, don't, don't do that shit on social media, no none of that. Mm. Go somewhere else where it's straight day shit. Now no black men, no nothing. Where they gonna understand right. where it's gonna hurt them in their pocket. Well, like they did us. But when I looked at the looters and I saw them over there at Lennox, I was like, man, they can't be from Atlanta. They can't be from Atlanta fucking with Lennox. But we were infiltrated. We were infiltrated. Yeah. The way the shit went on, that wasn't even that. Y'all seen them white folk doing all that BLM shit? That wasn't that? That wasn't mm-hmm. us. You feel me? No. I understood that, but at the same time, I was like, man, we got to be smart in this. Like, what is looting going to get us? That was my criticism, though, because it's like, now it like, made it look shit. like that that, sh- that shit ain't, the looting and the protest ain't have shit to do with each other. Mm-hmm. And that's the fucked up part. Is the like, infiltrator started the looting. But see, most exactly. of most of most of these kids now that what I've learned is Afra or whatever that little situation. Antifa. Antifa. No, no, I'm far. These motherfuckers. What I've learned is who most the of them kids, most of them kids are atheists. Yeah, that's who they are. They atheists. They don't they don't believe in. They don't believe God. in shit. So they don't have no they moral lost. code. They lost. Nothing. They trying to get it. They don't try- get hit by a car. Yeah. <laughs> It's so fucking long. Hey, what's up here? <laughs> <laughs> you lost soul anyway. Get the fuck yeah, on up yeah. out of here. 
they, they, they think, they, I think I, they really do want this world to be in a purge state. But I'm like, when you think about it, like when you hear these people saying defund the police, I'm like, come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. That, that's some bull. You don't want to live without no goddamn I don't know if I want to defund the police. I know third world country. Hell yeah, no. Like, Somebody got to put these niggas in check. Yeah. Because <laughs> there's some motherfuckers who ain't supposed to be out here with us. Hey, I'm just, know. hey, I'm telling you. I just walked out to the truck and just heard a whole shootout. That was just five minutes ago. A, a bunch of gunshots. A bunch of gunshots. Exactly. Well, 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 only thing they're going to do is just keep order. What I'm saying is fuck, fuck with it, whoever got the badge. It's mm-hmm. just we need order. We it do. just structure. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, right. We don't have no morals no more. Like, right. We ain't. Like the, the basic foundation of living, niggas have lost that. I think You so. feel me? Like, you know not to disrespect a nigga mama or grandma. Like, it's basic. Niggas don't give a fuck. Yeah. They attack your grandma. Hey, man. This, this <laughs> way. Like, God damn, man. That's what I'm saying. Like, but this way, this when I felt like shit got <laughs> fucked up, though. A couple years ago, when that dude went in Dallas and killed all them police officers, and they sent a fucking bomb in there and blew him up. Back now from Dallas, where police ended the deadly siege in the city last night by using a robot with a bomb to kill the ambush suspect. It's a tactic straight from America's wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. As NBC's Tom Costello reports, it appears to be the first time police have ever used a robot bomb on U.S. soil. Mm-hmm. I knew shit was never going to be the same between people. and the, They sent a motherfucking bomb in the building mm-hmm. and blew this motherfucker up and was like, well, that's, and it happened all night. And we watched this shit and then they were just like, all right, over with. Like we watched a live fucking movie. Do y'all go back and watch that footage? You of talking about the nigga who was shooting at all the police? Niggas, that was allegedly. The one. Allegedly. Mm-hmm. That nigga boy. I don't, I don't know. know. That was John Wick. Shot went crazy. But I'm all I'm saying is I'm not trying to deflect anything like that. It's just like look how much shit we didn't seen. That was way worse than some fucking stealing and looting or burning down some shit. We watched a motherfucker in Las Vegas shoot 500 people on CNN. Mm-hmm. At a concert, at, at white people. But my I'm thing, talking about white man shoot white people. He got he got tired of y'all niggas. What was the All Lives Matter crowd then? <laughs> y'all niggas ain't even protest for your own people. You don't even give a fuck. That's fucked up. But that was that a, nigga was in a, a, a country hotel. music show. Exactly. He didn't give a fuck who was at the show. He was working. <laughs> that nigga shot the bus driver, everybody. That nigga, I'm talking about a nigga paid for a hotel. Mm-hmm. A perfect window view. <laughs> he said, I can't wait till this bitch get packed. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Like, we don't even think of no shit like that. Like, nigga gonna shoot up at a concert? I can't wait for this future concert to get lit. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, what? Nigga you're not gonna hoes. do that at no future concert, okay? You're gonna fuck around and forget, because you're gonna have a hit after hit. You dig what By I'm the saying? time that nigga get to March Madness, you ain't even mad yeah, no more. Man, I'm gonna go down that motherfucker, what? <laughs> Shit! I'm gonna let these niggas make it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> See, like, oh. Like, but now, but see, that be the thing, though, it's bro. It's right like, right down your leg. Oh, shit. But that be the thing, though, see, man, we just gotta understand what time we living in, bro. And we got to adjust, but still be having a plan for this type of shit. You see what I'm saying? Like, even when it go back to the Wilmington thing, like, we we had plan. Them them that's history they don't tell us, mm-hmm. cause history is motivation. Mm-hmm. How you gonna go somewhere if you don't know where you came from? Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So when we still are living off this perception that somebody else has put on us, and we still trying to tell these niggas we ain't like that. Y'all gotta stop, man. Yeah. That's every day. That's every day. Man, y'all gotta stop. It's every day. Please. <laughs> we still, t- nigga, I'm watching old ass seminars and I'm like, my nigga, it's 2020. Exactly. We saying the this same, same shit. Why they ain't getting it? They don't want to get it. You know what? I like, get, bro, I'm watching a nigga from 1930. In 2020, we saying, if a nigga stole from you last week, he going to steal from you this Next week. week. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I don't got to know from you. Like, bro, nigga stole from 1965, man. I thought it was great. <laughs> Shit, he a thief. 1965. You know, the, the, the biggest thing that we, we, we should have got out of this pandemic is that we got to learn how to guard. We got to learn how to guard, man. We've lost that. Like, when I grew up, my grandma kept a guard. I stayed in the garden with my grandma. You know what I mean? I think right now we, we should have learned out of the pandemic. If we ain't got no generator for our house, we're crazy. They can cut the power at any time. Should, you should go and get you a generator. Oh, buy me a another, generator. Another thing is, 
You got to go get freezers and refrigerators, deep freezers, so you can, you can store your food. See, it's so many things that we can do to prepare ourselves for another one of these, these, these curfew or whatever they call this shit, this quarantine, that we got to understand that it's going to get worse and worse if they keep doing it. That's so phase we, one. We have to learn how to first feed ourselves. We all should have chickens in our yard. And you should always know how to get, and for the rich niggas, man, go buy you a cow, man. Just let somebody else keep it, man. Take it to the slaughterhouse in case, in case something go wrong. Man, that's some ball ass shit you, you just shit, said. You nigga, because I've been looking for a chicken coop, nigga. That, that's what mama want, man. I got, I got. I swear, yeah. nigga, you what? Yeah, hey, you you selling birds got a whole nother meaning when you got them chickens. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> for real, them chickens is, is blah, blah. Nigga, that money, every time they drop something. Yeah. What? So I, I mean, I, th- I just think we gotta learn how to survive without the system. I think we so dependent on the system that, man, we ain't forgot all about the things that that our older folks taught us as kids. And, and I think we gotta re-implement that, especially to these kids. Now, you know, most girls can't even cook, man. Right. I mean, you know, you wanna tell me how bad you? Are, you can't even cook me no egg, man. The <laughs> only nigga wants some egg. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, fire the hell can't cook no egg, man. <laughs> Hey, let me ask y'all, rock, let me ask you about in. this. This was trending on Twitter the other day. Terry Crews said some shit about black supremacy. I'm I don't sick of this like, strong no, ass. No, I'm so sick of this so so ass. Ass. nigga, man. Strong, so I knew, I knew he was a bitch nigga, when he blocked this. me on Twitter. He blocked me because I told him. You. I said, nigga, I'm 5'8", and ain't going to let nobody grab my dick in front of my face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. Nigga, I ain't nobody <laughs> never trying me like that. You don't get out there, your big, strong ass. You, <laughs> Man, fuck you, pussy ass nigga. You should have represented hey. for niggas and ripped the motherfucker arms off and like Jack. And, and it was in front of his girl. In front of in his front wife. Of in front of his wife. Crazy in here. Nigga laughed that shit out. So <laughs> he had black supremacy <laughs> trending. Nigga black laugh, supremacy was, was the trending topic. No, man. see what he what, uh, again? What he's showing? <laughs> what he's showing you is that. Uh, L.A., man, you say the wrong thing or you say the right thing, it could, it could cost you. Prince told us this one night, he said, he say, one, one thing about Hollywood, a black man get one chance to fuck up. Mm. And Prince, Prince told us that. God damn, that was deep. That, that, he that said, life. Man, he said, he said, Gip, you ever go to Hollywood, black man only get one time to fuck up. And if you look at everybody right now, my partner went through it. Now we see, shit, Steve Harvey ain't back in Atlanta cause he want to be. It just that, 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 that interview he did with Monique, he was supposed to cut her head off. He ain't cut her head off, so they cut his head off. Now he back in Atlanta. But do you still think he gave her a shot though, like a chance to, cause they still feel like I he was like- I gotta roll some he, weed up. They right still felt like he was, no, they, they still felt like he was going out of though. <laughs> He was, going, he was going, he, he went at her, but at the same time, too, where he fucked up, he said, no, Monique, you can't act like that. You can't do that, Monique. Right. If I ain't got no money, I did it. I take myself out, then I can't. Well, hey, man. Right. You, they still took you out. Right. You ain't do the job. One chance to fuck up. Right. So think about it right now. Ted Cruz, I guess he the last one left. Nigga ain't no last one. I don't know what. I'm in Hollywood. Mama ain't grab out of here. I ain't with that. I don't give a fuck. I fuck with everybody and I respect see, everybody. Don't gonna, tickle my nuts. They they gonna know that. They gonna know that sooner they hear you open your mouth. DC. Hey, nah, I ain't they, gonna lie. Hollywood still try you. Don't they'll try you. They'll try you. I, I mean, I ain't gonna tell you no lie, man. One time I got I got flew to LA to say if they want you to be in the movie. I said okay. They said, I got there. I said, well, shit, we're going to go. They said, no, we're going to take you to the man's house. Oh, I shit. got to the man's house over there in Barham. Man came out, he said, but shit, yep. Yeah. <laughs> I love your personality and everything. Will you play a game wrong? I said, well, shit, man, god damn. We got to start right there. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I ain't got nothing against nothing. All I'm saying is that I can't do certain things. Right. Because it's not in me. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a professional rapper, I'm not a professional actor. Now see, if I was a professional actor, that's in my job description. But as, a, but as me, I can't really do certain things. But it let me know off top that they were gonna try and figure out my sexuality before they gave me a chance at doing what I do. Right. And I felt like, but goddamn, but shit, 
that's the reason why I hadn't been in a lot of movies because the certain situations I got put in. And hey, man, your question was valid. You just asked me a question and I answered you. But at the same time, too, I knew that my answer also closed the door for that opportunity. Mm. Right. That's all, you know. And, and you know, a lot of times, Gip, a lot of things that Gip could have did. You know, I, I watched the success of everybody. That's why I didn't get able to stand beside everybody while they had their success. <laughs> but I just know us being the first and them first dudes in them early years, they were trying to try us instead of mm -hmm. letting us do what Tretch was doing or what Pac was doing. Mm -hmm. They were trying to get them make us do something else. So it, it just made me shun away from that. You know what I mean? But, mm -hmm. I, I, that, but I, see, I, I love it now, though. But see, that be the thing, though. It, it don't really, you got to just know how to handle a situation. It's always the tone. You see what I'm saying? Like, oh, Hollywood don't matter. Whatever perspective people got on Hollywood, if you ever get faced with some shit, you just got to know how to handle a situation. Not even with that. When it just come with business or anything, That's true. period, or you feel like somebody disrespected you business-wise. You got to know how to handle shit accordingly. And we're going to take it off from Hollywood. They shift it all the way back over here. That's just like even with this, 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 uh, all this police officer shit. You feel what I'm saying? You got to know how to handle the situation accordingly because you already know what you're facing. Or if you do the wrong move, it can be the last one. But see, that's my thing with most brothers. You already know police don't fuck with us. Right. So why are we gonna go and be aggressive with them? Right. I just, I just it, it just be tripping me out sometimes. I just be like, damn, like we can get into it with the <coughs> knees and we can got that talk ourselves out of it. Right. But then when you get into it with the police, you know he got a pistol. He you ready. know he ready, and you still gonna buck that shit, bro. You just want problems today. Right. And that's and I feel like if we was a lot smarter in the way we handle ourselves, especially dealing with authority. What I figured out is a lot of young kids just have never had authority in their life. Never, in no kind no of way. So, so, so when they get grown and they get out here and have to deal with the real world, it's almost like they, it, it, they, they Neanderthals. Did you see that police chief, the commissioner or chief or whatever, talking about he, uh, he want them to stop treating the police like, like animals and <laughs> shit? That nigga came yeah. up there like he was mad at him. But it was, you exactly. seen them nigga? We all read in the papers that in the black community, mothers are worried about their children getting home from school without being killed by a cop. What world are we living in? That doesn't happen. It does not happen. I am not Derek Siobhan. They are not him. He killed someone. We didn't. We are restrained. And you know what? I'm saying this to all the cops here. Because you know what? Everybody's trying to shame us. The legislators, the press, everybody's trying to shame us into being embarrassed about our profession. Well, you know what? This isn't stained by someone in Minneapolis. It's still got a shine on it. And so do theirs. So do theirs. Stop treating us like animals and thugs and start treating us with some respect. That's what we're here today to say. We've been left out of the conversation. We've been vilified. It's disgusting. <laughs> But it was a kind of funny I'm thing so to watch. Tired. It was it was it was it was, it was, it was funny to watch because I'm like, well, damn, that? where the black cops at? They're supporting. Cause they won them. <laughs> they was at work. Them niggas at them niggas. Somebody, somebody had to home. cover them streets <laughs> while that press conference was going on. No, Johnson, <laughs> Jackson, <laughs> Johnson and Johnson and Jackson, uh, Mathis and Miller. Y'all still on 17th Street? We got the press conference. <laughs> It ain't I mean, I mean, y'all just talking about us. We're I mean, New York, New York, right now is just they on some LA shit. Man, New York. Them ain't even real police. Do you see them police be out there mad hand? Yeah, them motherfuckers are uh, security soldiers. in the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> them niggas that be out there. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, wait a minute, hold up. No, don't be running by me. Bitch, I got the bag. <laughs> <laughs> and that's true. But at the same time, too, you got to look at New York right now. I would be so afraid to stay in New York City. First yeah, thing yeah, I thought about was, if y'all ain't never seen this movie called Escape from New York. Yeah, and Escape from L.A. with Kurt Russell. Yeah. Snake like, Plissken. Just, yeah. 
just think about it. Like, if something really happened in New York, all they got to do is shut them, that Highland Tunnel off and that Brooklyn Bridge. And they stuck there. And you fuck. Can't even get off that motherfucker. It's so an island. You can't get off the bridge. You can't mm-hmm. get off. Half of them niggas can't swim out in that water. Fuck. That shit's so dirty. Mm. You can't get out the state. You just right. in New York. Yeah, uh, that shit. So you ever seen that water? Right I, there, I, that right there by you Jersey. Know, what I'm Dirt. hearing now, like I just got a call and he just said, man, we walking up in the platinum. I said, I guess the city back on. Shit, what's going on? Yeah, we, niggas up, niggas in the club in hookah. Day party, smoking hookah with each other. Any nigga smoking hookah, man, you a suspect. Do the mask. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Any nigga smoking a hookah is a suspect. <laughs> nigga smoke. I said nigga, nigga smoking hookah with the mask on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but one thing I be trying to add people is like, damn, before you took that hookah, did you check the water? <laughs> Those niggas be out there like this. Before you took that hookah. That shit bubble, it be like. Yeah, yeah. And the water probably black. It be called the waiter. What's that little shit that be burning? It be going out. The What's cold. That? The cold. When that shit go out, them niggas get heated. Them niggas act like some crackhead. Hold up. Start moving this shit. <laughs> and I'm like. I, I, one night, one night, I, I was asking shot. I was like, what is that? She was like, that hookah. I be like, bruh, bruh, I hitting the goddamn hookah like that. You know who think he the coldest nigga in the club? The nigga who swear he can fix. I can fix it. I fix the hookah. Yeah. I got it. Can't that motherfucker hitting that. Huh, smoke, it's, it's hitting ain't it? They hold their little tip too. They take it out and be like, huh. Yeah, I saw that one They be night. holding that shit. I be I'm like, like, wait a minute, everybody got their own personal tip? <laughs> yep. Yes, bro. Yeah, I'm shy. I'm, I'm so behind. I got the blood, man. I don't want no hookah, bro. I know, a, I seen a nigga standing in the line with a hookah tip behind his ear. I was like, that nigga play too goddamn much. <laughs> That nigga play too goddamn much, man. <laughs> what color or pink? It was yellow. <laughs> and I could tell he had had it for a minute because it was the long one, you know what I'm saying? They done switched them by now. Like, that like, nigga been taking that tip crazy, everywhere. Bro. That defeat the purpose. That's so tired of them. And them hookah to call more than a bar. So you, you get th- a bar to and a hookah, big I'm like, ooh, you spent so much. Do you think, uh, Keisha, <laughs> do, do, do you think, do you, do you think Keisha, Keisha gonna be a good vice president if they pick her? Hell yeah. Keisha. They stressing Keisha the fuck out right now, though. Yeah, the people was all out in front of her house with the bullhorn today. And at this morning, protesters gathered outside the home of Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms. About 10 people showed up to picket outside her home, including a woman who raised issues with the nightly curfew while protesting near Centennial Park last night. The group left after about 30 minutes. Yeah, you closing them vines because you don't want to face us. You don't want your children at home. How you sold them out because your boys ain't a zip from being slaughtered, from being lit. She's closing the blinds. This white man, yo, sons is not a zip at all. Why? Saying what? They was up there yesterday they too. To Saying what? Who? They're, they're cussing at her and everything outside For of her. Right. But the they're thing is, Keisha, we found your house. We googled you. Right. <laughs> they talking bullshit too. They've been out there a couple days. This bitch, how much your purse cost, Keisha? Oh, they just fucking with. They just going out there. They ain't really even, They ain't even got no agenda. Like, who do your house? Like, come on, man. <laughs> this the fucking mayor. She got shit to do. You know who else a cold ass little man? She needs Chicago mayor, little Lori Lightfoot. You look with the little afro, she be wearing them big ass suits. I wonder what her husband look like. Oh, her husband is a, a big tall white lady. No. <laughs> but you would think she did, but she got, yeah. The mayor, so the mayor, the mayor got She the woman white. in her relationship. I like it. I like it. Hell like no. Nah. Hell yeah. They go with mid down fire. I like it. Uh-huh. Two tough ass bras. <laughs> laying in the bed like two D batteries. <laughs> That let you know, man, it's always somebody for somebody. Hell <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we ain't in the bill with doubt five. Hey man, stop playing with them folks. <laughs> I was just no. playing. I was just playing. She went off on somebody. I was just playing. Laugh, it's a Corolla. <laughs> <laughs> she told somebody they were full of shit on the press conference call the other day. He's been chips in the world. I fuck with little Lori Lightfoot. I don't Gold know what flake. her politics are. I like her personality, though. No. <laughs> As long as Georgia get in this uh, in this cannabis game, I think Georgia gonna be all right. Georgia gonna get and get in this cannabis game and this in this gambling game. When you think we gonna get the weed? Cause I I, I I keep smelling it like I feel like we gonna the day we gonna get legal. They gotta let a lot of people free. Like they gotta clean my rucker. We gonna have to take the agriculture. <laughs> they gotta route. clean mine up. 
The moment they get the legal down here, though. they got to clean records. Well, I, I'm going I to grow that shit right gonna, next to the peaches. Gonna, uh, they gonna drop the uh, the actual you seen peaches down here. Ain't applications to get into it at the end of the Fear. month. Got church, Mike. I'm gonna try to get me one. I'm gonna you get it. You should. In there. Everybody, even if you just get you a small license, because I mean, this is a generation of wealth, and they and they're not gonna get these license out no more. They just like alcohol. What license. you talking about? The weed permits and shit. The cannabis license. Oh, you, but you know how much they cost, though. How much? Arm and a leg and two toes. Yeah, yeah. But see, shit, you gonna make that back. You gonna, but see, I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you this. This is the biggest mistake that I see in Atlanta sometimes. Talk your shit, OG. Uh, some of us do got paper, man. And and that's cool with having paper, but just cause you got paper don't mean you are gonna be respected in all rooms. No. Yeah. Ooh. You can't buy that. You know what I mean? So, you know, one thing I learned about it is like, they not gonna let nobody involved in certain businesses unless you and went and did the, the footwork for it. Right. And that's one thing that I think some of the guys and some of us as young entrepreneurs gotta understand it. In the capital, they don't care how many records you sold or who you is. You gotta understand policy. You know what I mean? So I think me going to LA and really going and learning how to do it from growing and this and that and everything I had to do. I'm right. trying to learn everything so I could be able to say, hey man, I'm not just coming in here as a face for Georgia. I can bring some of the best from LA in here to make sure that we got the best weed. Because, you know, we don't really know how weed gonna grow in Atlanta. It's a lot of, you it, know, the atmosphere what different. Ifs. The, yeah. the atmosphere really different. If mm -hmm. you if you want to go from climate, the climate change different mm -hmm. than the LA shit. Mm -hmm. You dig what I'm saying? I forgot what climate we is. I have to ask somebody overseas because they know for sure. Mm -hmm. We don't know. And we not by the water. No, and that shit dry. You know what I mean? So the, when we grow, like think about it, even Denver, different altitude. When they grow up there. I know everybody be like Denver. I'm sorry, Denver. Well, listen here, we buddy. trash. I got that the solution already. Ass. We gonna grow the weed up in Bartow County, up there by Lake Alatoona. Yeah. Yep, that weed, that County. shit gonna be like me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if nigga growing weed by a lake, I don't want it. Shit. <laughs> that shit is dirt. Well, we gonna have to uh, really, uh, you know, everybody been asking me like, how much it gonna cost for real? I'm like, man, you gonna have to have a it, to have a real operation. It's gonna be thirty million. Shit. Thirty million. You know Think I'm gonna just stick to the streets, my yeah. nigga. <laughs> It's gonna be thirty million for for a dispensary in Atlanta. It's probably gonna be five million. You know what I mean? But if nigga go in together. Yeah, that's where it's at. You know what I mean? They can't stop a nigga from selling weed legally. Oh my goodness! If they do that, if a nigga can do that, it's like I'm gonna be like, look, I said I'd never do it illegally. But if a nigga can do it legally, yeah. oh lord. Yeah, that's my new oh, job. Oh my the fucking game, bro. Because they they feel like Atlanta I'm gonna back. be. It's gonna be bigger than California. You say Atlanta gonna be bigger than California? Is that right? On the weed side. Cause we got more land. Think about it. For it growing, I don't, I, don't, I don't think the product, I, I hope that we can get that product, cause boy, whoo, if, if you're a smoker and you really do the like the, the uh, logistics, mm -hmm. whoo. <laughs> California, man, it's just when you smoke it, it just a, hit the yeah, soul a little yeah. bit different. You yeah, know what I'm dude. saying? It ain't, you ain't just getting high. You yeah, you, you can, enjoy you can, life. You can ride that highway and look at the ocean and shit. You 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 start to figure out shit like you know what I you know what I'm finna go get me some rouse cold. <laughs> but see, when you smoking you and enjoy it, you start thinking about shit that got them like that's it depressing. Mm -hmm. You be like, hey, it is dark as fuck down one sixty shit though. <laughs> it dark as fuck. Nah, it's some real <laughs> shit, my nigga. You cut your headlights off, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> You real though. You be at the Waffle House quiet than the motherfucker, then all of a sudden nigga say something like, hey bro, you remember Fabo said he seen your spaceship on Bankhead? I believe him, my nigga. Look. <laughs> that one weed. <laughs> I can tell you that right now, that my dog. Mm. That one we got to get on him, motherfucker. That ain't crazy. But I'm gonna tell you, I think Atlanta is gonna turn into another. Notice, if you're trying to get in business, get you a business from the stadium all the way back to Hateville. They about to spend seven hundred million. All the way back to Hateville. From from Fulton County Stadium on that. What they finna build though, Gil? They got seven hundred million. What they finna build? They about to build a whole nother Atlanta, just like how over there in Cobb County. Then I did with that arena. They about to do the same thing over here. Down seventy five, they gonna have a twelve, and they building a new racetrack. That's gonna run horses and dogs, and they're gonna have a six flags out there. They got mad at Vic for finding the dog. Now they gonna run them. 
Yeah, they got to because there's too much money in it. They know they can't wrestle the airport away from black people. Yeah, that they, was, can't they were trying to do that. What you say? They, they've been trying to wrestle the airport away from black people. Mm. So since they can't get it, they're going to go ahead and open <laughs> gambling and cannabis. Some shit around it. That's right. So the right now, if, you, if you're thinking about small business right now, anything small from here, from, from that Fulton County Stadium, from that left side all the way through East Point to, to Hateville. See, they got that Porsche dealership sitting out there with that racetrack and they got a whole bunch of bullshit around it. They got to build that shit up. So in a minute, that shit gonna look like Brooklyn on that side of Atlanta, all the way going to Hateville. So right now, your mind should be about how many slots and how many businesses can I start? Cause it's a major wealth about to come here. And, and if you still thinking on some small shit, everybody in music, man, music like an old girlfriend, we been having. Everybody had moved on from that. That's the small game now. Right. Y'all in the, you, you y'all in the fresh you game. You like, I keep oh, telling that right now, the TV game is where it's at. Y'all look, I mean, that dude doing that over there, Tyler doing that, that's just amazing. It's like, you gotta understand, his studio bigger than everything put together in LA. Everything. They ain't said, but they mad. Mad as a motherfucker. Bitch. They mad. You know what I mean? So it's like understanding the power that we have right now, that we all can be moguls in 20 years because we're ahead of the curve and we can see it coming. And we got, and we really got the mindset to do it if we want to do it. All right. Because yeah. when I look down, when, I, when you look at places like LA and you be like, man, there's too many broke people here for all that money that came through here. Tell them why, tell them why Georgia is the perfect landscape though. Cause I follow you on Instagram. You talk about it all the time. Like, why is Georgia ready for all of this money that's about to come here? Mm. And why is it the perfect spot for it to be? You know what I'm saying? Well, we're in the middle of everything. From Florida to the north to the west. On this side, we LA. We just not getting to that level. Right. You know what I mean? LA been blowed up. You know what I mean? So for us, like, I just think that we just not getting started. Well, other cities have already really had they, 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 they apex as far as commercial building, you know? And, and I feel like right now, as long as us, <clears throat> the, us young guys really understand the power that we can really have, see, by the time we 50, 60, it's like we control the city, we really control a real piece of the block and we just ain't standing in this motherfucker. Because a lot of people in LA, you might be rich, but you still surrounded by a whole bunch of people that don't look like you, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So it's like, and then they, they overcharge you. Right. And they charge you for the sunshine. They don't even own it. <laughs> what advice would you give a young nigga who got me, some money? <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about. Ah, I'm talking about right here in the line. Like, oh. <laughs> See that same thing. <laughs> I got to ask for the audience. What advice would you give a young nigga who watching, who got some money, who don't know what to do with it? It's a few of them. They always hit me like, bro, what should I do? So I'll be like, nigga, I don't know. I don't know how you got your people. <laughs> I can't tell you to go start some shit with all this dirty money. <laughs> she had to go to your LLC, nigga. <laughs> <Hey. laughs> I would say right now, find a cannabis school and go to. Find a cannabis school? Mm -hmm. Nigga, they got a cannabis school, nigga. And they told, and I got locked up for bringing weed to school. <laughs> Don't nobody owe you shit. <laughs> <laughs> but they owe me a free scholarship, nigga. Fuck you, talking about? Uh, I, I see when you grow up. You dig what I'm saying? No. Like, <laughs> can't they do you? <laughs> like they gonna hit you and be like, you know you held me for the scholarship. My right? nigga, you sent me to the alternative school, but you couldn't send me to the cannabis school. You knew exactly what I was trying to do. Or can you imagine being in weed school and you feeling like you're in regular school? Like, nigga, I can't remember. Is it the indica? Or... <laughs> Man, I can't. Is it a hybrid? Mm. <laughs> I had to make some flash cards. Nigga, feeling like a bitch. <laughs> Kush, perk, pro, indica sativa. My great grandma bought. I, was, I can't even, man. <laughs> I definitely would have failed. I was like, nigga, this it. I don't know. It's bubble. <laughs> hey, mom, I got a C in weed. <laughs> oh, gee. I'll say this, though. Pay, atten the pay world. attention to what's moving and what's not. Pay attention to what's moving and what's not. I feel like when they threw that title, essential workers out there, that split the game up. Well, 
If you, only, if you only got essential skills, if you only got essential skills, you only gonna make essential money. Right. Right. You know, I think I think what we gotta learn is that we ain't never too old to learn. Even if we successful in whatever we successful in, we gotta learn how to take an hour out of the day to try and go learn some shit we don't know shit about. Talk mm. your shit. <laughs> Made that nigga choke on that weed. <laughs> 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 that, that mean that nigga done thought about that shit before, but talked himself out of it. Dude, that shit ain't never done. Ooh, 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 that shit spoke my spirit. I knew I should start playing that goddamn piano. Say what? I saw you, nigga. Start doing some shit you don't know how to do, nigga. Try to be good at every goddamn thing. Nigga scared to learn. Old comfort zone ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, no. That nigga got a big ass gun, man. That nigga I crazy. Know, I know you. I know. When you get that nigga crazy, nigga. man. No, when the nigga say. He don't know how to joke, man. That nigga crazy. He don't. I'm leaving alone. He don't know how to joke, man. Right. <laughs> I tell the nigga laugh all the time. Laugh, man. <laughs> no, fly. I, I, I want to ask y'all a question, though. What? Like, from, from the first time I did y'all show to when I seen y'all on stage taking the actual show on stage. What did it feel like going from this situation to a stage with what y'all were doing? Because I know y'all didn't kind of plan that. It was kind of like it was the flow right. that took it there. It was, it was like, shit, this shit bigger than just sitting here. And, and y'all winded up on the stage and then winded up with seeing the crowd come. Like, how did, y'all, how did that make y'all feel? Because I, I know that y'all didn't know how far y'all reached. Right. You know, it, damn, the, so then I, I probably you know. You know and yeah, he'll tell you, like, right before, like when we did our last show before they shut all this shit down, it's just like, I ain't never get used to that. Like, you know, it ain't never became typical because it's like, it seemed like every show would just get bigger and bigger and bigger. It was 4,000, 6,000, 8,000. Tickets sold out six months in advance, and it's just like, sitting here, giving these people our perspective and making them laugh and acknowledging them made them come fuck with us drive six hours fly across the country it was like, they fly sell out shows everywhere it's fucking amazing people all over like, the world man. ain't no comedians that's in our lane that's you know what i mean that made a platform like this was doing it like that he is doing it like that mm-hmm. so it was just always amazing to me just to go see, get love like that, you know what I'm saying? And it wasn't just like, shit, that, that one show we had, you remember we sold that bitch out? And all the motherfuckers sold out. So that's the fucking dopest shit I ever been a part of. Well, I'm gonna tell you, I'm proud of y'all. I appreciate it. I'm proud of y'all. It, 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 it. And I got to the point where it was just like, <clears throat> it made me respect the people. I start like wondering what type of people we bringing out. You feel what I'm saying? Like, who am I touching? You feel what I'm saying? Cause you still got a brand. You know how you know, you know exactly who you bringing out. So just a gonna bring out the little mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, but nigga, when we have a show, bro, <laughs> I be like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like, you hear me? Like, people be pulling up on us in, in wheelchairs and shit, be like, jump on. You like, what the? I ain't never seen no shit like that, but bitch, I'm finna ride. You dig what I'm saying? <laughs> so it like, man, we you touch, it's just like people who feel like they never had a voice. Or they, but they understand and they need that voice, you know what I'm saying? Somebody they can live through, you feel me? Like, I just love seeing that. That's why, that's the, probably the most biggest, is plus working with my brother, it's mm-hmm. that's love. We mm-hmm. do this so much, I don't need to be tripping on that. Mm-hmm. I ain't got to say shit, really. Mm-hmm. I can watch them niggas. Mm-hmm. But it's like, when I'm in, in tune with them fan, man, and they allow us to create, man, it just, that probably be the best thing, because we improv. Mm. You gotta understand telling comedy nigga, we, you got jokes and shit. Like when you gonna stay by yourself, you got jokes. Mm-hmm. When we gonna stay, bro, we literally be like this here. Say our prayer. You know what I mean? Cat dog say our name. <laughs> and we going out there like this here. What up? <laughs> <laughs> and whatever they say, we bounce out that shit and we go crazy. Yep. I watched it, man. I mean, I, we, we very much discuss y'all and see y'all. Well, we was on the road, and Lo was always like in prison, like, man, get, they practice that shit. And I'm like, man, they can't practice that shit. Like, you can't pull up a show and they do the same shit. So just to watch y'all do that, like, it's amazing. Yeah. Appreciate it, OG. It's just dope it. to be able to have a platform as big as this to be able to do that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because we know how hard it is to be a fan 
of of anybody mm -hmm. at this point because you know every all the entertainment is so come and go. So that's how I look at the music business right now. It just look like don't nobody stick it number one no more. They still it's like nigga be number one for an hour. Then the shit, it seemed like everybody one. be number one at the same goddamn time, though. <laughs> shit, that's cool, though. I don't mind being number one with a motherfucker. Shit. All right, as long as I made it. I'm like, shit, we tied, we tied. Whoa, what we down? But hey, we did it. Shit. Yeah. We won. We shared that motherfucker go. Let go. You put it, uh-uh, my hand gonna be on top, though. Let's do it. <laughs> but, but, what, but what I would want for young artists right now, man, I would want the music to reflect what we live in, money. Like this is the most crazy shit I ever seen. It's right. never it's never happened in history where music didn't reflect what was going on in society. Right. Right. And we always use music for an outlet to tell it. You feel me? Go listen to that Sam Cook. That's all he talked about. It. I'm like, well, dude, he must be singing the slaves. Now that nigga was going through that shit. He was going through that shit. I you know how he wrote the change gonna come? Huh. They wouldn't let him get a hotel room. For real. Yep. Mm. Damn. Black History Facts here <laughs> at the 85 South Show. Welcome back. I am your host, Carlos Miller. <laughs> my nigga DC Young Flat. We are in here kicking scientific knowledge with my nigga Big Gil. <laughs> Going crazy. 2020. But hey, man, we've been in the studio, man. We're going to give y'all an album in just a minute. What's, really? the, what's the name of it? We got to be on that motherfucker just saying, no sir. They ain't gonna tell no name yet. We ain't decided, but I just know That's that no. we got the actual single and shit. You got the single? Yeah. I see you drop. You just dropped something. Yeah, I did something with Toe Card. <laughs> what's it called? Uh, Time is Right. Time is Right. Video and all that, and the remix on the way. Mm -hmm. But nigga, ignore you. That was a polite no. You feel me? <laughs> where, you gonna, where you gonna fuck with me? <laughs> yeah, that was handy. Nigga, <laughs> 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 not fucking with you, but he's not fucking. <laughs> 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 he ain't gonna let you on the album. He ain't gonna let me on the album, bro. <laughs> oh. Oh, DC. Yeah, he said you gotta get on the album. Shit. I know what I told you. I don't want a song. I'm right. Shit, now I call you tomorrow. Now we going in tomorrow. All right. Shit, we going in tonight. Oh, hey, what it was. They won't be mad. Let's hey, go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Well, let me on the game ball. Let's go. Who that creepin' in my window? Me that guy. I'm out right now. I got. I got. I <laughs> what fuck you mean? Well, I'm in the window. They can open up. They can see it. That's how the uh, album come on. Hey, yeah, I'm coming up. up. Hey, it's me. I'm in the window. Open in the window. Open up. They can call outside. I'm going to put that in the game tomorrow. You're fucking right. All right. They lit. All right. Y'all heard them. <laughs> I'm on tape with you. But I mean, nah, like, shit. Love. I'm just ready to get back out here. I want the word, word to open back up so Goody Mom get back on stage. Keep dropping these records, man. I just did a record with Blanco Brown, man. Man, people don't even know we got a world class, the number one country music singer from right here in Atlanta, man. Go on, go His on. name Bronco Brown? Blanco Brown. Look Blanco up. Brown. Number one country. <clears throat> Nigga be so big on rap. We like this. Mm -hmm. Not knowing the shit behind us is just accumulating how, paper. How do you link up with, with the number one country singer? They reach out to you? Most time, most reach out to judges and man, man, good Could they be fans? I, I, I seen dude, and I was like, first of all, I know Nashville. And for him to be able to go to Nashville, have an actual album, put his own record out, sell two million records in Australia, all over the world, that's, that's big. How many black country music singers you know about? So for him to be from Bless Bankhead, mm -hmm. the boy from Bankhead. Way from Bankhead? Who? Blanco Brown. Blanco Brown from Bankhead. <laughs> Got Man, a country you, song and went number one with it. Seventeen weeks. What the fuck he say? What did what did what he say? What did he? Do? Just, just, just talking like how. Oh, the two step jump. Off. Oh, okay. Hold up, which one? It. He got the dance. Oh, I did hear that. Damn, I got to get me one. Yeah, I ain't know mm -hmm. you Fuck you, man. I said, fuck you, man. <laughs> bring that ass in here, girl. You gotta bring that ass in. Fuck you, man. Oh yeah. What? 
his debut single, The Get Up, over 50 million streams, cracked Ooh. the Billboard Top 20. That's from the 85 South Show. Talk Research your shit, Blanco. West Side, nigga. We got to get him up Fuck there. Fuck you, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Gotta be he he yeah. got to do that. Do he do, he do the, little, the little dang lane like that? Hey, the dance is hard as hell, too. You ain't seen the dance? Hell no. The Cowboy Boogie, the two-step. I got to look that up. It's a lot of names. That shit hard. Though. What you call that shit when they be singing, but it ain't yodeling, though. When they be like, fuck you, man. You know when country niggas, they be doing that shit sometimes, that's, bro. That's yeah. Not, that's yodeling. No, that a yodeling mm-hmm. shit? Oh, OK, bitch. Yeah, fuck you, man. You know, uh, like, 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 and then I did that peace song with uh, ATL Top 20 with a whole bunch of artists. We just did a video for that. I just did a, a, a video with Corrupt called Gangster. I'm shooting a video Saturday with uh, Cam called <coughs> Race War, him and David Bannon. Yeah. Right. Uh, Shout out to Bannon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Much slide yeah, up. Yeah, watch the high school. I slide up on y'all. You know what I mean? So, like, I, I'm, just, I'm just working, man. I'm just, I'm happy to quarantine heaven that it happened because it, it just made all us come back home. Have to resituate, regroup, and, and figure out what's going on. I ain't gonna tell y'all no lie. We was this close to doing a Dungeon Family album with all of us, but then 3000 had to go do another TV show, so I was like, Damn. 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 Don't you worry, know what man. Mean? We just wait for if, if that come through, then I'd be ready to go and do a world tour with Outkast, and then I'd be like, Ready to sit on down, man. That should be crazy. You think we're gonna ever get another Outkast album? I hope so. Ever. He talking more. What's wrong, man? Y'all explain that shit, man. Come on, man. The world want to know what All right, all right. Man, man, keep yeah, keep it discreet. Need that, man. Keep it discreet, but we want to know. Man, that man been platinum since he 18 years old. He has sold more records than most people. He produced the biggest record ever. That sold 10 million records. He stayed number one for 10, 12, 15 weeks with Hey Y'all Overseas. Crazy. He had seen everything you could see. He performed at Coachella. He had Prince right there, got there, LA right there, everybody in the industry right there. He did it. And then he don't like the attention. You know what I mean? People don't understand that shit was you know I mean? trained. Like, Tell the nigga huh? we won't look at him then. <laughs> <laughs> we're just we're listen. We're just, <laughs> don't look at the nigga. He gonna leave again. <laughs> <laughs> don't ask for no. We gonna do one big group. Picture. Stop looking, Los. Nick, stop. Mm-hmm. Just turn your back and listen. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga's amazing, but I can't look over. We're big boy. Come nigga on stage go. before <laughs> his hands off. <laughs> don't want you to look at him. Hey, mm-hmm. y'all. Yeah, he, he just, and he be right here, he be right here, slide in and out of town. I know, know man, you might see this. Damn, I, see, I want Unjay they go had, crazy, They had a video man. of the nigga playing the flute at the airport for about six hours. I mean, man, we played, we sent him a song. We were like, you gonna get on it? He said, I play the flute. I was like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you think, what, you think being ignored is cold? You send a nigga a song and he said he gonna play the flute? <laughs> You don't know nothing ah! about this nigga flute skill. Ah! You never even ah! seen this nigga with a flute. Oh, gee, damn. Hey, man, Andre, man. Mm. That's fucked up, man. The flute, man. Mm. Niggas said, I'll play the flute. flute. Damn, Dre. Hey, niggas don't understand, bro. I can't that get attention, it. but back then, that attention, it was probably like times 20. Wasn't no iPhone, no it then. Was, it, was it, like, was, it was like he turned into from a rapper to Lenny Kravitz. Right. At that time. Where it was so big and so crazy that 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 Grammys day, it was just like, man. Please, I just I just want to make music. Please, get Ain't out. nobody get out my face. To be that goddamn good, then. Mm-hmm. But some people just be that talented. You just be like, I just want to do my that job. Th- that's it. That nigga's oh, amazing. Right man. Remember though, D'Angelo was the same way. Right. He kind of he kind of subtle. Man, after he did the naked video, it was rap. It was rap. Rap. He couldn't take it no more. I mean, once you get naked, what else can you do? That's <laughs> why I be telling motherfuckers. With braids, motherfucker. That's the big joker. That you get shit you can do after you done got butt ass naked. Shout out that big joker. That's your big joker. <laughs> Them niggas done seen you butt naked. But but, ah! think, but but think about the Sade the same way. And she been that way. Sade, Sade the yeah. best. Listen, baby, I listen to you all day. Bruh. That's one of them ones when I listen to her music. I swear her, she talking about our relationship. I'm the nigga. And <laughs> all it's all that shit personal between me and her. It's only a few. Shall they like they cool you can cheat with. Who made me feel like that? Ari Lennox. Like every time I hear her, I feel like she just sang about us. I got She mad a little bit, but then by the time the song go out, we back together. 
That's why I can listen to the whole album because we break up like in the middle of every song, but we straight by the time this shit go off. I know. I gotta get stop getting high because this is where I'm at in life at this point. I be projecting you myself and shit. That ain't I, got, I don't even know. Mm. What you I, looking for, folks? None. Okay. <laughs> right. Right. The world right. ain't open back up yet. Okay. Yeah. Look, my boy, Look at like Marvin Gaye looking at me. Nick, you lying. <laughs> you lying at me. You know you won't want them singing that good. He did not want to take that picture. I don't know who the fuck took that. Man, Marvin Gaye, he, that picture on, was Mar- taken after a show. Come on, man. How that? That's the Marvin Gaye face of disappointment, Gil. <laughs> we can't take that picture down. I don't know who these niggas is they right here. They got damn real cold though. Still. Yeah. They put that goddamn. Like a Nickelodeon cartoon. On. Let me look at that wall. Oh, yeah, man, this shit this... play. Don't look at that one though. So they got damn. What they? I do? don't know what the fuck that one okay, is. Okay, who he? That supposed to be a Carlo, but that's a mechanic. <laughs> Who the fuck this bad ass nigga? He a thief though. Man, I don't, know. don't trust him. That is not me. That is a thief. That's a pastor. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> he take money every time I'm about to pass the collection plate around. The old lady in the corner. Yeah, that's a slave. That's so joint and true. That's so joint and true. <laughs> oh shit, so joint. <laughs> Angela Davis. But what's she a slave though? And Michelle Obama. <laughs> And then What's that's Jordan Martin say? Malcolm and Barack. That ain't so Jonah. That's Willie B. We got some more fans. Right, we're gonna we, we gonna rotate them out. That's so like, Jonah beautiful. We just been too high to switch them. I ain't even know Barack had a mole. That nigga ain't got no mole. He do though. What? He but you take know, that Barack shit out. Obama would never let his headline be seen like that in public. They should, who we gonna get somebody to fill it in? Bro, who the fuck is this lady, bro? I just told you. Harry Tubman, that's the one I meant to say. Somebody said Sojourner True, so that I'm, was a slave. I'm high. The fuck I'm y'all sorry. make me, y'all see that, but y'all ain't finna make me stupid. <laughs> that's Sojourner True? That is, I was right. Yeah. Shut up, don't talk to me. That is Harry Tubman. That's it a mean ass slave. slave. They just somebody, it. they. It's both of them. That's a mean slave. Look, 85 South Shore audience, y'all tell us. They like, take the picture, she like. Is that Harry Tubman, so, that's Harry Tubman. We gonna just leave it at Harry Tubman. No, it ain't. That is I'll a, take the L for that. That's a mean slave. But that's damn sure Angela Davis and that's that's Michelle Frederick Obama. Douglas with his hair slit. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, DC. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga Fred got this shit slit. <laughs> oh, I gotta give a big shout out to Clayton English, man. He was protesting in LA, for got real? trapped on the roof, and got jammed up with them folks. But we got made sure our partner was straight. Big salute to Sabado Domingo. My boy Clay, why on the roof? Yeah. They can't do that. Man, trapped on the roof. Trapped on the roof. LA. Man, that's a major wood in the location. I'm trying to bring you out what I can. There was nowhere to go. They weren't letting people go nowhere. They didn't expect on this lady letting us come to her roof. It is. That's the journey truth. And that shit was on MSNBC. Let me see Harry, but Harry went bullshit. Harry was, what Harry was like to him. Ooh. Mm. I want to hear the, I want to hear the knowledge from a queen who was, who had power and who was like freeing motherfucker, bro. To the his stories, she ain't even got time. Now you about do selling pussy since. <laughs> Eric Badu selling pussy incense. I'm like, man, Erica, you crazy, that man. That shit sold out, too. Shy. I know. I know. It's Niggas is really order. buying them bitches. That shit sold out. She, I wonder if she using her real pussy scent. Like, if they going to run out? Like, if they coming to like, Erica. Hey, we got, we got, hey, no. bring your pussy. Hey, fill the cup up. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, we run it. We can't keep this Come pussy in stock. <laughs> Well, Eric, I love Eric too. Hey, one dude Erica had bought OG. some of those uh, Eric about the pussy incense, and he was on YouTube eating them motherfucker. Mm. I don't he, know that he young gonna man. Die. I don't know I that hope young not. man. He tripping. <laughs> no, you don't, nigga ain't eat no incense. I don't know that young man, but I wish him the best. Damn, Harry, <laughs> they talking about they were gonna put your ass on a two dollar bill. That's crazy. The twenty. <laughs> Why? So Why they can the dude? make people start saving money. You're not gonna be able to spend twenty dollars if you look down at Harry Tubman looking up at you. With that, 
disappointing ass face. Harriet. <laughs> Harriet on the $20 bill looking at you like, you don't need that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Put that shit down. <laughs> Hey, bro. Hey, can you make sure I don't get no 20s? It's not because I'm racist. I just don't like feeling guilty. <laughs> but when would I spend my money? <laughs> she, <laughs> she look at you got a pocket full of hair. She don't even like you. Ain't tell you take the motherfucker out. Dude, I swear to God I'm not racist, but I had a hair tub in 20 and it just I just kept hearing somebody call me a cracker, bro. I swear to God. I was just going to say that. What if you were racist? Don't you touch me. Get your cracker hands off me. Hey, you know, ah! niggas, hypersen- you see a white man fold up a hair to him. Hey, bro, hey, I'm throwing that money, man. Don't that be is holding hilarious. up a strong black woman like that, putting it in your pocket. Bro. What does that symbolize, man? Hey, how come every time you put the twin in your pocket, all of a sudden you just see the twin on the floor? The motherfucker keep coming out your pocket. <laughs> the money starts spending itself on what it want to buy. You just start seeing the Twitter pop up. <laughs> Look, I don't want to buy that. You can't tell me what to do with myself. <laughs> Spin me. Spin me. I know what I want. I don't need no man for nothing. Oh, but Harry had the little baton on. You don't be goddamn racing your face. Nah, I don't be, I don't be racing no man. I don't race. Now my racing days are over. She had that Louis on. Man. I don't do no racing. She free niggas in style. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you tearing up too much shit racing. That Ooh, shit. I could live back then. That I would have been the angriest if, nigga. I would have been an mm. angry ass person in the 1800. I would have been so angry. I, don't fucking hit me and I ain't did shit. I ain't even lying. I would have been angry. I'm telling you. Them Y'all slaves. don't want to kill mouse. Oh, hey, DC, you remember we was talking about they need to come up with a number for the reparations? How much? Now it's too many of us, bro, because they, they did the 1% rule. Give number? me the exact number. That 1% rule fucked it up. It's too many of us. $14.7 trillion. Dollars. We all get what? Two hundred and three hundred and fifty thousand. We all get three hundred and fifty thousand. Y'all really think that's enough? This all allegedly hypothetical. Three hundred fifty thousand is enough for reparations. It ain't enough. It ain't enough. Don't, don't, don't just give it to me straight up. I just wanted it like payback increments. It's still getting taxed. Two twenty five hundred a month. No tax. They gonna tax it. Three hundred fifty dollars. Three hundred fifty thousand. That ain't enough, bro. Not for no slavery. They talking about shit. Four hundred years. Three hundred fifty thousand. What if, what, if you, what if you had to? Now how they hear that thing about it? How much money we get? Four hundred years. You know what I mean? <laughs> Somebody gonna do a seance and then bring can't give four hundred million. Bring man. up all the slave souls and the slaves gonna be like, take the goddamn money. <laughs> you better take all that. Take that goddamn money. I put. I work too goddamn hard for this family. For take you to. T- that ain't enough. You ain't did a motherfucking thing. <laughs> Take I did the goddamn work. Take it. Take the goddamn money. Take it. They gonna be starting singing old spirituals. All of them gonna show up together. Take it. Take it. You better take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take the money. Take it, you stupid niggas. Take it. They gonna take it. Yeah, yeah, they gonna take it. Ain't nobody went back to work yet. Shit, no. Most people get paid they, more It's going to be, I know white people, it's going to be some terms and conditions. Look, if you accept the money, you can never bring up that shit again. Yeah. <laughs> there is no more race card after this, I'm telling you. If you take the money, you got to be American. You got to salute the flag and you got to be patriotic. Goddamn. No more race. There's no more goddamn race. You don't have any more excuses, goddamn it. I want to see you at work bright and early at 6 a.m. tomorrow. <laughs> where, the, where the fuck I get a job? We all work in America, god damn it. Everybody has a job. Find you somewhere to go at 6. <laughs> find you somewhere to go at 6. You better find a fucking job. You better make a job. You better be proud of your goddamn country when you get there. <laughs> <laughs> What about the broke white people, Man, though? Man, they fuck around and hand out their ah. reparations. You're going to see the most patriotic niggas. Boy, you are, you know niggas overdo everything, bro. If niggas really love this country, nigga patriots, 
Who? Where that shit go? <laughs> nigga, 4th of July come through, your, your auntie got red, white, and blue fingernails. Big ass Mark Simpson, red, white, and blue hairstyle. That shit still ain't gonna do nothing. All the box Chevys passing by painted like the American flag, nigga. Nigga still ain't gonna be rocking with the flag like shit. that. Shit. Nigga be Bump patriotic that. than a motherfucker. Nigga gonna move <laughs> if they smart. Hey, hey cuz, be quiet, bro. <laughs> we finna salute the flag. I fought that flag, boy. On, <laughs> <laughs> on everything, bro. I die about this American shit, bro. How the answer go? How the answer go? The, the, anthem, anthem, yeah. the nigga gonna be singing along with him. <laughs> oh, say what you sing <laughs> before <laughs> we get dark. <laughs> what so proudly we said <laughs> we be trapped like was gleaming. <laughs> Who right strikes in bar Chevy? <laughs> <laughs> don't these niggas don't wanna fight? <laughs> <laughs> That right. That nigga retarded, bro. Then my favorite part right here. And the rock is red glass. Hey, you got that on me too. <laughs> Keep that goddamn rock. <laughs> nigga ain't fun with that red glass. That nigga is stupid, bro. That nigga is Keep that motherfucker on me. <laughs> Fuck with America, you want to always, nigga. Oh shit, man. Well, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Look, we bro, really, we'll, on literally, fire, bro. we'll literally do his shit all day. Nigga, I'll smoke Cheeto. Like what are you like doing, that? bro? You had to see what man. they were gonna do. You watched too much YouTube. You thought the shit was gonna light like a birthday candle. Nah, I want to shit. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, we expanding the brand. Gip, anything you wanna leave us with, bro? Come on, OG. Man. Some knowledge. Uh, what I say is uh, believe in self. Don't believe nothing you don't understand. And wake up every day with a new plan. That's I'm it. Dead. Whole new plan. Oh, the whole new plan, man. Oh, shit. That nigga, they gonna drop that and walk off? God yeah. damn. Get, get, That's how you gonna do? That's how the show do. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, you gonna go, all right, shit. I'm gonna go to the bathroom, man. Yeah. All right, well, yeah, fuck yeah. it. Yeah, man. That's how you end shit, man. Oh, okay. Right. God damn, get this nigga. This nigga gonna roll his own ending. I'm just gonna say what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna get the fuck out of there. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. This has been another episode of the 85 South Show. Coming to you live from the end of the world. DC, what you got to say before we go, man? Shit, man. You already know what time it is. You dig? Handle your Benny Gill. We ain't gonna trip. We ain't gonna slip. Nigga, we gonna flip. Yeah. Hey, put a motherfucker beat up on them little ass speakers. Put a beat up on them motherfucking little ass speakers. Come on, man. Put, put a beat up on the motherfucking little ass because I'm a teacher. Fuck, oh, nigga, I'm a preacher. God damn. What happened? Oh, you added a, a little bean in there. Hey, man, we got to get this nigga some speaker, man. We do. Come on, got, man, somebody donate us some speaker, man. Man, that nigga got the old speaker from the first Apple computer, man. 1997. Eat a lamp. Look, oh, those, Mac. those are his speakers. Bring we don't back. have shit to do with them speakers, man. 1997. He didn't let me know he needed some. On the Mac, nigga, bring it back. 1997. This podcast right here. On the Mac, nigga, bring it back. For niggas who've been fans of the show since day one. Allow. The real on the 85%. Mac, nigga, bring it back. Got crackle. Peanut butter. I love you. Yo, bitch, I fought the hey. Hey. This podcast hey, right hey. here is for everybody who got a hey. tattoo that don't look like what the fuck you thought it was gonna look like when it hit. <laughs> <laughs> I just seen a nigga today, he said he got a hawk. I said, that's an owl. <laughs> Damn it. It's a bird though. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> owl don't fly like that. <laughs> All right, man, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Y'all hold it down. Say it. What the fuck you mean and mean what the fuck you say? Gip, you straight? I'm out here just trying to get it in the hole, my nigga. Nigga, Gip, just trying to take a shit, man. Nigga ain't walked back yet. You all right? <laughs> all right, buddy. Ah! <laughs> you stupid as hell, boy. Boy, you stupid as hell, boy. The white people, boy. <laughs> DC. Yeah. Take the goddamn money! Take the goddamn <laughs> money! What you mean? <laughs> but that was hilarious. <laughs> you ain't did shit! I ain't did shit! Take the goddamn money! That was so funny. Okay, baby.
It's all good. Try to say so. Where you look, he got a landscape company. Bro. Some hot talk, so <laughs> that nigga good in hell, bro. Damn, I thought I bought some money. Oh shit, how you look like Peter Proud like to you, nigga? Nintendo shit. <laughs> 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 <laughs>